Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Nicole and this is The Simplistic Home and today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my thrift finds for the month of January. for a little while then you know that I really enjoy decorating our home and just making it a very warm and welcoming place for all who enter. Um, we do like to keep things neutral but I do like to add a little bit of colors and textures throughout our home as well but one of the things that I love doing is decorating simply so I don't have a lot of items sitting around. I do decorate with more of a less is more concept if you will and I just like to make a statement with those pieces. So a lot of these things that I will be sharing with you guys today are things that I can use in multiple ways throughout my home and I'm just really excited to share with you all of the items. So I'm going to be showing you the item obviously, also the prices and kind of what my idea is behind these pieces that I picked up because I do like to purchase things with a purpose. So I made a video on that a while back of how to keep um, just your home simple as far as less spending and being intentional about what you bring into your home. That way you have less clutter and all of those things. So if you're interested in watching that video, I will have it linked down below. And this is also one of several thrifted videos that I have filmed. So I will have a few of those linked down below as well. Most of the pieces that I thrift anymore are home related. I do thrift my clothes on occasion as well, but I have more of a capsule wardrobe going. So again, I don't have a lot of clothing in my closet, but definitely a lot of them have been thrifted or secondhand. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into the rest of this video. So I do have, I think, let's see, I don't know, about six or seven pieces here to share with you guys. And they, oddly enough, all came from the same place. So I do go to several different thrift stores in my area, but these just so happen to be all from one location. So I did not get them all at once. There are a few that I did pick up at the same time. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so this first piece is actually this glass pitcher. So it is just a regular picture there's nothing fancy about it at all but I did have a plastic one that was clear that I used for a couple of years and I decided I wanted a glass one I think it looks a little nicer it's more heavy duty you don't have to worry about cracks really and all of those things and so I picked this one up at the vintage like antique store that all of these places or all of these items came from and this one was I believe it was either two fifty or three dollars I think it was three dollars um, but anyway, eventually we are going to put up some floating shelves in our kitchen. So I'm really excited for that, but um, I feel like this would be a good piece to place up there, but also has a purpose as well because we do have people over a lot. So this would be great for when I host, fill it up with ice water or tea or whatever and um, put it to use. Okay, so the second thing that I found is kind of random, but um, it is actually this big, this big box. So, um, I originally thought that I would use this in our kitchen. So we do have a little coffee station in our kitchen. It's just a tiny wall really, um, kind of just a dead space and we decided to add a coffee nook there. So I wanted to hang this up above the station and it is actually a Napa Valley wine crate. So um, I didn't realize that when I bought it until I got home, but you can see the logo there. So this is actually a wine crate, but what I'm going to do is hang this up above our coffee station and place my coffee mugs in here. So I have kind of played around with it with the different mugs that we have in our home and they actually all fit perfectly. So um, I do like to keep my coffee mugs in pairs for the most part so I can kind of just display those that way and also free up some cabinet space because we don't have a lot of cabinets in our kitchen. And like I mentioned earlier, at some point whenever we have the floating shelves, this will place most of my mugs on this um, piece here. So anyway, this was 12 95 I believe I found it just hidden in the corner of a booth and um, I'm really excited to hang this up on the wall so I am not sure yet if I'm going to stain it or not or if I'm just going to keep it this natural um, wood look that it is already but anyway that is the the uh, plan for this piece but I thought it was a really fun find and kind of unique way to display coffee mugs 
Okay, so this next little find here is actually a faux fiddle fig leaf. So I do have a mixture of real plants and faux plants in my home, um, but I picked this one up because I actually don't have a fiddle fig leaf tree at all, um, a real one or a faux one. So anyway, I found this one in a booth and it actually has the price tag still on it. So this was originally um, from Target because it was the threshold brand. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, but anyway, it looked like it was originally $7.99 and I paid $5 for it. So not too bad, um, but I know I can use this in different areas in my home. My plan is to probably put this next to my kitchen sink at some point. Okay, so moving along, the next thing I found was actually this ceramic cutting board. So um, I don't know if you guys can tell the details on it or not, but it's kind of a florally pattern, but it's really subtle because it's all white, which I really like. And this one actually, it looks like it's actually called a charcuterie plate, um, but it came from the Target Dollar Spot apparently because here's the sticker on there but it was five dollars and i believe i paid 250 for it so um i could style this a couple of different ways so i thought i could even place these two kind of layered a little bit on top of that wine crate that i found for the coffee mugs um i can hang these on the wall i do have a couple of cutting boards hanging on our wall above our coffee station currently um, i can also use this because again we have people over all the time we host a lot we love charcuterie boards so this is just a fun little thing to have around and um, it serves for functional but also decorative purposes Okay, so this next find is something that I can use all year round as well. So it is actually this giant vase. Um, it looks, I don't know, more so like a bowl, I guess. It's a pretty wide opening, as you guys can see here. But my plan for this is to actually use this in our spring decor this year. So I don't know if you guys can really tell or not, but it's kind of a greenish blue um, tinted glass. So nothing too um, bright, but it's just really subtle. Again, it can I can use this all year round and every season but my plan is to use those glass pieces for spring so I've kind of been collecting just a couple of pieces that are this blue green tint I feel like it adds some color but it's still subtle enough because I don't have a lot of bright items in my home really everything is kept really subtle and neutral okay so we're actually going to be filming the rest of this video with Barrett here so he is our four month old he's getting a little fussy so we're just gonna have him in this video, I guess. But anyway, what I was saying is this year for spring, I'm wanting to incorporate some of this blue-green tinted glass. And again, I can use it all year round. So I'm really big on that. I like to have things that I can use for multiple seasons and reasons and all of those good things. So um, my plan for this is to actually put some greenery in it and potentially put it on our dining room table, which is right behind me. So as you guys can see, I do have a little pitcher there full of some pine and whatnot for the winter. I use that for Christmas as well but for spring I'm going to switch it up a little bit use this piece put some greenery in there and call it a day so I could actually put um, real plants in here or I can do some picks and I actually already purchased some picks from Walmart but um, I forgot to mention this this thing was $2.99 which I was shocked because it's pretty big and it actually weighs quite a bit for um, a vase but anyway that is the plan for that so I think it'll look really pretty sitting on the table Okay, and so the very last piece I want to mention before I show you, I'm gonna give you the details on all of this stuff. So again, all of these items came from the same thrift store and um, it's really like a thrift slash like vintage antique store really. Um, but anyway, I had not been in there since this guy was born. So he's four months old and the, the piece that I'm getting ready to explain to you, I found um, about a month ago, I guess at this point. And uh, I went in there because I was on my way to the grocery store and I hadn't been in there in about four months. And um, so I had a few minutes to spare and they closed in like 15 minutes. So I ran in there, walked around. I honestly didn't see anything at that point. And uh, so anyway, I was getting ready to leave and I went down the very last aisle there and I spotted this beautiful tufted chair. So we have been wanting one of those for quite a while now, but if you guys have ever looked at the prices of those, they can be easily like $400 or more. And I don't know about you, but I'm not spending that kind of money on a chair. So um, anyway, when I found it, I FaceTimed my husband cause he was at home with the boys. And I told him, I was like, this thing is only $50. Okay, that is a, an excellent price for this chair. I was shocked, but of course my car was not prepped for this giant chair. So anyway, I went in the next day, it was open that morning. And when I went to the register and they rang it up for me, what do you think? 
<laughs> when I went to the register and they rang it up for me, it rang up $27.28 because apparently in that store or maybe just that booth, I'm not sure, if it has a red dot on it, that means that it is 50% off. So I'm gonna show you this chair and you guys are probably going to be just as blown away as I was. <laughs> All right, you guys, so here is this chair. I think it is so, so beautiful. It is kind of like a mixture of um, beige and like mauve. I know it's kind of weird, but it is, I honestly think it's gorgeous. It um, is uh, tufted as you can see here. And then also it has these like little buttons on the sides and the wooden legs and I think it is gorgeous. I cannot believe it was only $27. I'm I'm still shocked, honestly, but I just have it tucked away right now in our dining room corner. Um, eventually we would like to have it in our living room, but we will see. I kind of like how it looks here instead, but 27 bucks, I'm shocked. <laughs> and also it is really comfortable and I did not have to do anything to this. It does not have any stains. It did not have any smell or anything along those lines. It's definitely been taken care of. So anyway, great purchase. I honestly think this is my biggest and best thrift find I have ever had. So anyway, these are just examples of things that you can find while thrifting. All right, you guys, so that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoy these thrift hauls, especially with all the home decor, and you'll probably be seeing this guy in these videos a lot more often because he's definitely a mama's boy and likes to be held. So anyway, um, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I am going to be incorporating much more thrift hauls. I'm actually going to try to make this video a monthly video. So basically at the end of every month, I'm hoping to uh, show you guys the thrift finds for those particular months if I end up finding anything at all. So anyway, that is the plan, but um, be sure to check out a few of my other videos linked down below. And uh, you're getting crazy on me. <laughs> anyway, be sure to check out a few of those other videos linked down below if you guys enjoy all things simple and just simple decorating and how to do that on a budget. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Ah!